Over the past year, home baking has boomed. And with Brits recently voting fresh bread as their number one scent, now is the perfect time to find out which of these three gadgets can make the best loaf. And to help me find out, I've enlisted celeb chef Rosemary Schrager. She's judged many a TV cooking competition and is a keen home baker, but she's always been wary of bread makers. I've never heard of a good bread coming out of a machine, but this was a long time ago. Technology has changed an awful lot since I sort of came across one. Let's hope my modern bread makers do a better job. First and cheapest on test is from Russell Hobbs. It comes with 12 cooking programmes and can bake loaves in under an hour on its fast bake mode. Next, a mid-range offering from German brand Gastrobac. It has 18 programmes and can also produce pasta dough. And last up is probably the biggest name in bread-making tech, Panasonic. This brand new model may be pricey, but it has dual temperature sensors and 32 programmes, including rye bread and 100% wholemeal. What will Rosemary's first impressions be from this latest crop? First under scrutiny is the Russell Hobbs. Can I have a look inside? Mm, do. Now, that is mm. what they're kneading it with. Yes. Is it going to knead enough to basically make it all rise so it works perfectly? So you're comparing that with your hands, basically? Well, I am, because that dough has to be torn in some way. You have to work that flour to make it build and rise. That paddle just might be the job. Who knows? But I'm yet to be convinced. Ah, it doesn't seem Rosemary's reintroduction to the world of bread makers is off to a good start. Let's move on to the gastrobac. On paper, this makes quite a good case for itself. For example, it has an automatic chute there where you can put in fruit and nuts to be added to your recipe at precisely the right moment. That's interesting. I think it's rather attractive. Yes. If something is going to be out on a surface, I do think it's going to look nice. And if you fork out an extra 20 quid for an accessory, it'll even make ice cream. No, I do like that. That really appeals to me. <laughs> because I like a machine that can do more than one thing. It seems a bit of German engineering may be changing Rosemary's mind. Next up, the Panasonic. This is Panasonic's top-of-the-range model. It's just been released, fresh out of the oven, you might say. And as you'd expect, it's a very sophisticated machine. Where's the window? It doesn't have one of those. I wouldn't have an oven without being able to see in, so I can't see what's happening. Maybe they're trying to tell us we don't need to look at it because it's going to be perfect every time it comes out. Who knows? Though on the positive side, just like the gastro bag, it has an automatic facility to add fruit and nuts during the bake right. and it has a separate yeast dispenser. Panasonic claims its automatic yeast dispenser takes the guesswork out of baking and should produce even rises every time. But what is important is what is the bread like coming out of it and that's what's going to be interesting. We'd best get baking then, Rosemary. For our first test, we're going to make a medium white loaf in all three machines following the manufacturer's recipes. Because I'm a mere amateur and you're a professional, I'm putting, <laughs> you, I'm putting you in charge of two of them. OK. Uh, the Russell Hobbs and the Panasonic, and I'm going to take the gastro okay. back. Well, shall we get going? Yes, let's. Let's. Mm. While Rosemary was finding some of the ingredients a bit odd... I would never use milk powder, but this is a new thing. I was struggling to measure things out. Everything's in millilitres and grams, but the measuring implements provided seem to be teaspoons and tablespoons. Yeah. Right, so put it on the machine. Then. I've got to use the machine. Yes, I'm now going to put the yeast in. I'm measuring a gram of salt. While I was still fussing with my gastrobac, Rosemary had already moved on to the Panasonic. I've got 400 grams of flour to go in. That's what I'm doing as well. Ah. I'm not mm. normally quite <laughs> so precise. At last I'm ready, I'm going to put my tin in. There it goes. Gosh, you've done two in less time than it takes me to do yeah. one. A short bit of button pressing later. On. And the bread makers are on their way. Though the process won't exactly be a quick one. So I've brought along three identical machines to get test two underway. Cakes. I have found the perfect thing for the Russell Hob. I've got a fruit cake. I thought it would be a really good idea. Mm. As well as loaves, all three bread makers can bake a variety of sweeter treats. So alongside the Russell Hobbs fruit cake, the gastrobac will bake Rosemary's own Victoria sponge recipe and the Panasonic a cherry marzipan. Shall we get on with it? Oh yes. While Rosemary whisked efficiently away, I'm just going to bung it in. I couldn't even load my baking tin. No, 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 no. no. Good job. 
What? Push it to the side. Is that not quite enough? Is it? That's no. Right. I need to give you a lesson. But eventually, we were ready to go. That's exciting. I'm excited. <laughs> Cake making underway. Our bread is now ready for the all important taste test. And once again, it's the cheapest Russell Hobbs first. It's a very light bread. It hasn't got that hardness about it. It's tasteless. There's not much flavour in there. But it's a white loaf. It's just what it is. Next up, the gastrobac, which I was in charge of. That is a little bit firmer. Mm -hmm. And actually, it's a better bread. It's still soft, but it's got a firmer texture about it. I like that bread. Splendid! Turns out Bentley can bake. But how about the Panasonic? OK, I can tell immediately it's a very, very soft bread. This is really spongy, really. Look, I mean, I reckon if I could just go like that and squeeze it in no time... But it doesn't taste bad at all. So, with a bland loaf from the Russell Hobbs and a tasty but overly spongy one from the Panasonic, it's the gastrobac that wins our bread test. But will things improve for the Russell Hobbs in the cake round? It looks really good. Mm. I quite like the texture. Mm. It's moist. I've got the flavour. That's actually not a bad cake at all. Some redemption for the cheapest machine on test. But can it keep up with Rosemary's Victoria sponge from the gastrobac? It, it's a disaster in terms of looking at it. It's sunk in the middle. Maybe using her own recipe wasn't wise. But it's very buttery, very rich. It's actually not bad. It seems Rosemary's tasty sponge is fighting back. How will our pricey Panasonic fare with its cherry and marzipan cake? It's not cooked. Oh, no. Mm. This actually is not cooked in the middle. What a shame. In fact, Rosemary wouldn't even taste it. Oh, yes, it feels liquidy. Decision time. So, really, that's the best of the lot. So the Ru Russell Hobbs so sort of wins the cake that round. That wins the cake round, yes. I think what we've achieved has been really surprising. 